Hello guys. Today we will discuss concept of information system with the pattern of computer application in pharmacy. You can also download these notes as PDF from our website HK Technical. Link will be given in the description. And you can also comment a topic on which you want next video. Or contact us via social media platform. Follow us on Instagram at Technical Harkesh HK. Because we regularly post pharmacy learning tip and tricks on Instagram. So, let we start here. Concept of Information Systems and Software Harkesh HK Concept of Information Systems and Software Information Gathering Requirement and Feasibility Analysis Data Flow Diagrams Process Specifications Input-Output Design Process Life Cycle Planning and Managing the Project Information Gathering Information Gathering Strategies The strategy consists of identifying information sources Evolving a method of obtaining information from the identified sources and using an information flow model of organization. Information sources. The main sources of information are users of the system, forms and documents used in the organization, procedure manuals, rule books, etc., reports used by the organization and existing computer programs, if any. Feasibility analysis. Feasibility analysis is used to assess the strengths and weaknesses of a proposed project and give directions of activities that shall improve a project and achieve desired results. Requirements Determination Sub-Activities Requirements Anticipation The systems analyst hypothesizes that particular requirements are relevant based on his or her previous experience with other similar systems and knowledge about the problem domain. Requirements Elicitation the systems analyst uses this activity to gather the essential requirements from the user employing a variety of techniques, such as interviews, questionnaires, group brainstorming meetings, and voice and email. Requirements Assurance The systems analyst uses the activity of requirements assurance to validate and verify the requirements with the user as being the real and essential requirements. A user walkthrough in which the systems analyst and the user together review documented requirements in detail is one assurance technique. Requirements Specification This is the activity that the systems analyst uses to explicitly catalog and document the requirements either during or after the elicitation and assurance activities. Methods used to gather an information system's requirements. Interviews involve at least one systems analyst and at least one user conversing about the information system's requirements. Interviewing for requirements is similar to your interviewing for a job position or a television talk show host interviewing a guest. Observation is the act of the systems analyst going to a specific location to observe the activities of the people and machinery involved in the problem domain of interest. Questionnaires are feedback forms designed to gather information from large groups of people. Creating a prototype of the information system can be done on an individual level or in a group setting. The idea is to explore system alternatives by developing small working models of the proposed system so that user reactions can be gathered. System Requirements Specification SRS. SRS is obtained after excessive discussions with the user. System requirements specification specifies what information requirements will be provided. It does not specify how the system will be designed. Developing a document flow diagram. Example word statement. Our company receives many items from several vendors each accompanied by a delivery note. A receiving office receives the item and checks the delivery note with corresponding order. Any discrepancy is reported to purchase office. The items received along with items received note, with details of items, is sent to the inspection office. Entities identified vendors, receiving office, inspection office. Documents identified, delivery note, discrepancy note, items received note. Using these a document flow diagram is drawn. The diagram is interpreted as follows. Vendors deliver items to receiving office accompanied by a delivery note. Receiving office sends items to inspection office. Receiving office sends discrepancy note to purchase office. Entities, vendor, receiving office, inspection office and purchase office. Documents, delivery note, items received and discrepancy note. Data flow diagram, DFD. 
DFD has entities and data flows. DFD specifies processing performed by some of the entities. It specifies which entities generate documents and also indicate their flow. Data stores which are referred while processing data and in which processed data may be written or stored are also represented in the diagram. Entities are originators of data and consumers of data. Vendor, inspection office and purchase office are entities in the diagram. Data flows are delivery node, items received node and discrepancy node. A circle is used to depict a process. A pair of parallel lines depict a store. Input output design. Design phases. Architectural design, identify subsystems. Abstract specification, specify subsystems. Interface design, describe subsystem interfaces. Component design, decompose subsystems into components. Data structure design, design data structures to hold problem data. Algorithm design, design algorithms for problem functions. Coupling. It is the measure of the strength of the interconnections between system components. Loose coupling means component changes are unlikely to affect other components. Shared variables or control information exchange lead to tight coupling. Loose coupling can be achieved by state decentralization, as in objects, and component communication via parameters or message passing. Coupling and inheritance. Types of coupling. Content coupling, high. Content coupling is when one module modifies or relies on the internal workings of another module, e.g., accessing local data of another module. Therefore changing the way the second module produces data, location, type, timing, will lead to changing the dependent module. Common coupling. Common coupling is when two modules share the same global data, e.g., a global variable. Changing the shared resource implies changing all the modules using it. External coupling. External coupling occurs when two modules share an externally imposed data format, communication, protocol, or device interface. Control coupling. Control coupling is one module controlling the flow of another, bypassing it information on what to do, e.g. passing a what to do flag. Stamp coupling, data structured coupling. Stamp coupling is when modules share a composite data structure and use only a part of it possibly a different part, e.g. passing a whole record to a function that only needs one field of it. This may lead to changing the way a module reads a record because a field, which the module doesn't need, has been modified. Data coupling Data coupling is when modules share data through, for example, parameters. Each datum is an elementary piece. And these are the only data shared, eq passing an integer to a function that computes a square root. Message coupling, low. This is the loosest type of coupling. It can be achieved by state decentralization, as in objects, and component communication is done via parameters or message passing. See message passing. No coupling. Modules do not communicate at all with one another. Software lifecycle models. The software life cycle is a general model of the software development process, including all the activities and work products required to develop a software system. A software life cycle model is a particular abstraction representing a software life cycle. Such a model may be activity-centered focusing on the activities of software development, entity-centered focusing on the work products created by these activities, waterfall model. This prescribes a sequential execution of a set of development and management processes, with no return to an earlier activity once it is completed. Some variants of the waterfall model allow revisiting the immediately preceding activity, feedback loops, if inconsistencies or new problems are encountered during the current activity. V model. Another variant of the waterfall model the V model associates each development activity with a test or validation at the same level of abstraction. Each development activity builds a more detailed model of the system than the one before it, and each validation tests a higher abstraction than its predecessor. Spiral model. Spiral model addresses the weakness of the waterfall model. Spiral model focuses on addressing risks incrementally by repeating the waterfall model in a series of cycles or rounds. Concept of operation. Software Requirements Software Product Design
Detailed design. Code. Unit test. Integration test. Acceptance test. Implementation. Planning and managing the project. The SRO or identifier of the potential project should. 1. Define and justify the need for the project. 2. Specify, quantify and agree desired outcome and benefits. 3. Appoint a project manager and if appropriate set up a project board. The project management team should. 1. Dot plan how to deliver the required outcomes and benefits. 2. Decide how to manage relationships with key stakeholders. 3. Decide how to project manage the delivery process. 4. Determine resource requirements and ensure they can be made available when required SRO project. 5. Develop business case to enable the SRO project board to decide whether project is cost and risk justified. The SRO should ensure. Post project reviews are carried out to measure the degree to which benefits have been achieved. The business case is updated to reflect operational reality. Potential improvements changes opportunities identified in the reviews fed into his strategic planning process for consideration. Planning checklist. Confirm scope and purpose of the plan. Define the deliverables. Identify and estimate activities. Schedule the work and resources. Identify risks and design controls. Document and gain approval for the plan. Software estimation. Estimation techniques. Organizations need to make software effort and cost estimates. There are two types of technique that can be used to do this. Cost is estimated as a mathematical function of product, project and process attributes whose values are estimated by project managers. Effect is equal to a, size B, M. A is an organization dependent constant, B reflects the disproportionate effort for large projects and M is a multiplier reflecting product, process and people attributes. The most commonly used product attribute for cost estimation is code size. Most models are similar but they use different values for A, B and M. The Kokomo 2 model. Long history from initial version published in 1981, Kokomo 81, through various instantiations to Kokomo 2. Kokomo 2 takes into account different approaches to software development, reuse, etc. Kokomo estimation models. Project formula description complexity. Simple PM 2.4, KDSI, OSXM well understood applications. Developed by small teams. Moderate PM 3.0, KDSI, 12M more complex projects where team members may have limited experience of related systems. Embedded PM 3.6, KDSI, 120XM complex projects where the Software is part of a strongly coupled complex of hardware, software, regulations and operational procedures. Application composition model. Based on standard estimates of developer productivity in application, object, points month. Formula is PM is equal to NAP 1% reuse 100 prod. PM is the effort in person months. NAP is the number of application points and PROD is the productivity. Application point productivity. Based on a standard formula for algorithmic models. PMAX size 8XM where M is equal to PERSRCPXX RUS XPDIF XPREX asterisk FKLUX SCED. A is equal to 2.94 in initial calibration, size in clock. B varies from 1.1 to 1.24 depending on novelty of the project. Development flexibility, risk management approaches and the process maturity. Reuse model estimates. 1 for generated code. PM is equal to a slog at 100 at prod. A slog is the number of lines of generated code. At is the percentage of code automatically generated. At prod is the productivity of engineers in integrating this code. 2 when code has to be understood and integrated. E slog a slog. 1 at 100, um. As log and at as before. Um is the adaptation adjustment multiplier computed from the costs of changing the reused code, the costs of understanding how to integrate the code and the costs of reused decision making. Making. Please like share and subscribe to our channel for such videos.
and comment below for any queries.